Well, I already mentioned that um, what, what plants, um, cyanobacteria, which, uh, which also are photosynthetic, uh, algae, and also for a certain amount of photosynthetic bacteria, uh, they, they absorb light energy. Um, now, light um, is, sunlight is an energy source for planet Earth. Uh, this light has to, but it has to be absorbed and converted into another form of energy. Um, so what happens in photosynthesis is that light is absorbed by pigments. You, uh, you're all very familiar with chlorophyll, the green pigment in leaves. That uh, uh, the that energy absorbed by the chlorophyll has to be transferred into what we might call chemical energy. And to do that, you you excite uh, an electron within the chlorophyll. So this electron is a high energy electron uh, and is able to drive um, a reactions uh, which we call reducing reactions. So uh, the, so you, uh, you you these high energy electrons are. Uh, are uh, used to com to convert carbon dioxide, which is itself a low energy uh, compound, to a high energy compound. So you, be, you, you, you the carbon dioxide receives an electron, and that um, that electron uh, uh, gives energy to the carbon dioxide, and it also takes on the hydrogen. So you then make an organic um, uh, molecule, might say carbohydrate, for example. Uh, with that high energy electron. So now on the other hand, if you take an electron uh, from the chlorophyll molecule, you, ye you leave behind a positive hole, a plus, and that plus hole, positive hole, is able, it must, must be reduced by another uh, electron that has to come from somewhere, and that electron comes from water. And so you, when you do a water splitting reaction, you're taking electrons out of water, um, and of course the, the proton, which makes up the hydrogen, and you release oxygen. So the overall reaction then is water plus carbon dioxide equals organic molecule, carbohydrate for example, CH2O, and uh, oxygen. This, this process of, of, of using light energy to split water into molecular oxygen uh, and, uh, and I'm going to say hydrogen, it's really an electron and a proton, high energy electron and a proton. This, this reaction is such a fundamental reaction of our planet. This is the reaction that's given us all the oxygen in the atmosphere, which we rely on. Without it, we wouldn't exist. Um, and um, the high energy electrons and the protons, as I've explained, reduce car carbon dioxide to organic molecules. And these are the organic molecules of life. All the biomass on the planet is generated by that, by that reaction. Now, this reaction appeared uh, on planet Earth about 2.5 billion years ago and, uh, and has been going on ever since. So over those 2.5 billion years, the oxygen level has risen. Uh, We've had the formation of the ozone layer, which uh, shields uh, the terrestrial environment from UV radiation, so life could, would, could occupy uh, uh, land. And, uh, the, um, and the, this, this biomass that's been building up over, over these millions, uh, millions of years, or billions of years actually, uh, have, are, are, are the origins of the fossil fuels. So when you take fossil fuel like oil, gas or coal, this is the product of photosynthesis over billions of years. And we are now burning this fossil fuel, as you know, we all have cars and uh, heating systems at home and so on and so forth. Uh, we're burning this fossil fuel, the product of photosynthesis of millions of years ago, very rapidly. When we do so, we convert it back to what the starting point would be converted back to carbon dioxide and water. Um, and this carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere. Uh, the amount of carbon dioxide released in the atmosphere is exceeding the amount of uh, carbon dioxide which is uh, being uh, re-fixed uh, by uh, photosynthesis. So, uh, so the uh, atmospheric level of CO2 is increasing. About half the CO2 released into the atmosphere um, uh, remains, uh, remain, uh, uh, remains in the atmosphere and the other half is absorbed back into the biosphere.